What's up with it Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider Honcho and I'm back with a brand new video for you. All right, guys, get right into it. You already know the vibes. You already know what type of time I'm on. I'm fresh out of a three-hour track camp, suffering from heat exhaustion. I know I'm looking crazy, hair looking wild. It is what it is. But look, man, as much as I've been hearing great things about Derek Carr this offseason and training camp and stuff like that, OTAs or whatever have you, as much good stuff as I'm hearing about Hunter Renfro not being guardable, as much stuff as I'm hearing about Devontae Adams looking like every bit of the stud that he is, and our offense just looking like Derek Carr is taking command, Josh McDaniels is an offensive guru, yeah, all that stuff is great, but they say defense wins championships, and quite frankly, our defense has been a walking disaster because your best ability is availability, and some of the people we need to be available are just not available. We have a plethora of injuries on that defensive side of the ball, primarily the defensive line and linebacker position. When you talk about Chandler Jones, he's missed four practices already. Lower body tightness, I don't even know what that means, man. But like at the end of the day, he's not been on the field and he's not been on the field consistently. Now, by the time this video drops, maybe he has returned to practice, but I'm just not liking the idea that one of our big dogs that we're going to be relying on this season, putting a lot of stock into being uh, able to come through and deliver for us uh, during the season has not been playing in four straight practices. That's not something I like. When you talk about linebacker Kyle, I don't fucking know how to say his last name. He's on the injury reserve. Cleveland Farrell, undisclosed injury. His undisclosed injury, injury is that he's ass cheeks. That's really what it comes down to because at the end of the day, I know everybody wants to think that he would be a great piece for uh, Graham's defense, but we really don't know. Uh, out of the few years that he's been on the Raiders, obviously he was a reach at number four overall. He just hasn't really shown us enough for me to be that excited about him anyway, but he is another body and another piece on that defensive line that's going to be out. Micah Kaiser, done for the season. IR, Jonathan Hankins, defensive tackle, pup list. But, uh, Nichols, defensive tackle, pup list. We already know that, uh, Trayvon Mullen, obviously on the pup list, has been injured for almost seems like eternity, right? So when you talk about the Raiders' defense and how much better it's supposed to be this year, well, how much better is it going to be if the better guys are not available for us? Now, we're looking super thin at the defensive tackle position, and I told y'all in this year's draft, linebacker and defensive tackle was going to have to be something we addressed, and we're just super thin at defensive tackle. When you talk about Jonathan Hankins not being available, is one of the best run stoppers we have. Uh, you talk about the young boys not really being able available. I'm just hearing things about the defensive line that's just not that exciting for me as a defensive coach. When you run the 3-4, you have to have a stud nose tackle that can two gap that can take on double teams that can kind of flush everything down the line and not be getting trapped and not be just getting washed down like he has to be a player if you're going to play the 3-4 even if you're going to play a 4-2-5 you still have to have two guys in the middle that can take up the A gaps or the B gaps that takes the pressure off the linebackers having those guards reaching and pulling and coming down and taking those guys out so I'm hearing that those guys that are in a defensive tackle right now are just not getting a lot of push when it comes to uh, getting those reps against the offense and not getting a lot of push and not getting a lot of pressure on that offensive line and that's obviously going to be bad for us because although our defensive guys are decent in defensive secondary when you talk about Merrick when you talk about Hobbs uh you talk about Everett being available you talk about Rocky Asin um but at the end of the day we have to be able to get pressure on that quarterback and we have to be able to get pressure on the run and if our defensive tackles are not sound and not good then guys at the end of the day it's just not going to be good for us because it's no matter how good Patrick Graham's system is no matter how good he, of a play call he is and schematically putting a scheme together and stuff like that at the end of the day it's not always about X's and O's sometimes it's about the Jimmys and Joes and right now our Jimmys and Joes is hurt so at the end of the day man I want y'all to let me know get down in the comments let me know what y'all think about uh this topic of our defense just being a disaster right now are you guys worried are you guys hitting the panic button are you guys concerned get down in the comments and let me know what you think because I'm not concerned where I think our season is over but I think there is cause for concern when you think about a lot of the players that we are going to be relying heavily on not being available, especially when you're talking about Chandler, because that's a guy that we're like relying on heavily to be very good for. So get down in the comments and let me know what you think about that. Also, if you like the video, damn, like the video. If you like the content on this channel, please subscribe to the channel. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter, both at Raider Honcho. And until the next time, as always, Raider Honcho out.